Hey guys, it's Butcher31 here, and I'm doing my previews for the Cardiff game, which is tomorrow. Which, this is a bit like I completely forgot about this. Uh, so yeah, we play Cardiff tomorrow. Uh, it got changed because of the international rugby between Wales and Australia, and I think we play at 3 o'clock. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting because there's a lot of pressure on the manager and the players now, and it's starting to get a bit silly now and I really want the team to push on and start playing well but it's just not looking like it's going to happen at the minute and it's really annoying and disappointing uh, because I, I think we've got we might have the result there to do it but it's just like at the moment the only player that seems when you either go or you see see them uh, if you go or you hear it on the radio the only player who would seem like he's really giving a damn is Antonio and working well and it's just like let's try and push on but like I said these previews and reviews that I do for Wednesday are getting harder just because they're not brilliant to talk about uh, I will be listening to the game tomorrow on Radio 5 uh, not Radio 5 Live uh, Radio Sheffield or the Wednesday player, but uh, hopefully we can go and get a point at least. Let's just not get hammered. Uh, because 4 1 during the week against Watford <laughs> just says it all, really. And they beat Barnsley today 4 0. Not to take anything against Watford, they are a team that's playing rather well at the minute, but we're just not, we've just not got the defensive know how at the minute um, we haven't we haven't got the we haven't got the defensive know how really at the minute. Uh we've not got a scoring attack. It's like we signed Rodri from Barcelona B on loan. I, I he's hardly played at all. It's like play the kid and then let's see what he can do. It's like it's like with Medine. Medine's not played many games, it's like he put something on somebody said something to him on Twitter saying he was a belt warmer and he replied we reply, I'm not even that, I'm a stand warmer. It's like well it that you can see some of the uh, annoyance of people not getting in the squad. And it'll be an interesting game for it'll be an interesting game for Dave Jones because it's his old club. And if if Jay Bosco has played, it'll be interesting to think we had three years there as well with Dave Jones. So it's one of these ones I kind of I'm looking forward to the game but I'm also not. I'm very apprehensive about it. I'm just like what 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 are we gonna have this time and depending on how it goes, what uh uh what what Excuse, we're gonna come on. It's like it's just getting really irritating now, and I you can't keep going the way that you're going. Uh, we need to pick up some, we need to pick up some, some victories and some wins because at the minute we are uh, struggling. This no one's gonna say this league isn't hard, it is. It's probably if you want to get into the Premiership next it's a nice little test to show you what might happen higher up and Cardiff are a good team I think they're second tonight and they've done well this season so it's like Cardiff are good so we're just going to have to play well and dig deep and I hate it's just annoying when you s s it kind of like I'm not I'm not 100% sure if it's change of manager, change, I don't know, because it seems like Milan's behind him, and while he's our manager, instead of this boo or Jones out bullshit, support him. you got to support the players, you've got to support the team, you've got to support the manager, you've got to support the chairman, that's all you can do. And people saying uh, Jones out at the minute, we've just got to support him, and it's entirely up to what the chairman thinks, and it seems like the chairman come out and backed him. No one said this was going to be easy. Are we, are we going to get some money in January to spend? You hope. 
what are the annoying things the money could come from us selling uh, Mark Beaver to old uh, old where get it right Millwall and that could be a really it'll open up some money because if we sell him we're going to have to we'll sell him for a lot because he's on a three year contract but you've also got the whole thing well surely you need someone like Beavers in our team he's, he's better than Martin Taylor and that's my personal opinion he's better than Martin Taylor but we seem to keep playing him so this is my preview let's just hope we get something this weekend even if it's just a point I'll take it it'll just just no loss. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very very difficult game, and so let's see what happens and let's pray for at least a point. Okay, guys, bye.